What's up, pro warriors? Get ready, because the brand new WinLater 10.1 update has officially landed and it's a total game changer for Android users. If you've ever wanted to run real Windows PC games and software on your phone, this is your moment. WinLater transforms your Android device into a powerful gaming machine. And with this latest update, everything runs faster, smoother, and with more control than ever before. All right, let me quickly walk you through what's new in WinLater 10.1. First off, they've added full MIDI input and output support, including the ability to connect external MIDI controllers a big win for musicians and anyone who uses MIDI in their games. The input controls got some love too, with new control types added, meaning more games are now supported in the imported game section. In the settings menu, there's now an option to move the mouse using button presses, which really improves gameplay precision. They've also added support for Portuguese and Russian languages, making the app more accessible to a global audience. Under the hood, the Box 64 emulator got updated to version 0.3.6, which means the developers have tuned and optimized the emulator in almost every area. Now let's talk about what's new in the container setup. The Mesa Turnip graphics drivers are now updated to version 25.1.0 boosting both performance and compatibility. They've also integrated DG Voodoo into the DirectX wrappers, which enhances graphics in specific games. Other essential drivers were upgraded in recent updates too, making everything feel more polished and well-organized. On top of that, parts of the app have been converted to native code, so the performance feels snappier and more stable than ever. On the UI side, you'll now see an active Windows option in the side menu making multitasking smoother. And yes, pip that means picture-in-picture -picture mode has been added too, so you can game while doing other tasks on your phone. For the classic gamers, there's now a virtual CD-ROM drive that lets you load ISO, BIN, and Q files directly perfect for older games. They've even fixed black screen issues in certain titles by improving the X server. And finally, WinLater now uses cached texture decoding, parallel texture decoding, and asynchronous pipeline creation. All this adds up to faster loading times and much better in-game performance. The mouse fix you've been waiting for? Well, almost. The good news? A lot of mouse bugs have been massively reduced and this update lag is gone, movement feels smoother, and 360-degree turns are finally possible, just like on a real PC. But yes, some minor issues still remain, and hopefully, the devs will squash those soon. You can now connect your keyboard and mouse using an OTG cable, or go completely wireless via Bluetooth. WinLater is available on the official GitHub page, so go grab the emulator and test it yourself. If you want a full setup guide and the best performance settings, just drop a comment below. So yeah, WinLater 10.1 is not just an update, it's an upgrade to your entire Android gaming experience. That's all for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video, take care!